skillers welcome to the concluding module of our first course in this module we will delve into presentation skills focusing on the prevalent workforce scenario which we should be prepared for as it is a situation that we will encounter frequently it is the art of delivering a spontaneous presentation delivering a spontaneous presentation in a workforce setting can be challenging but with a structured framework you can always be effective and with today's activity you will receive a hands on experience to do that equip yourselves on these four aspects and you will always be ready first quick grasping of the context before you start preparing or delivering a presentation quickly grasp the context this means knowing the background understanding the reason for the presentation and the overall purpose it also involves knowing your customer in certain situations dealing with the information could be challenging especially when the information is vague incomplete or lack sufficient context in such cases ask questions never try to decipher the information because it could lead to misunderstanding or misinterpretation and therefore if you are clear with the context you will be able to align your message with that of your audience's expectations Number 2 is purpose clarity understand the fundamental reason for the presentation is it to inform is it to persuade or is it to entertain or any other specifics for example if you are a sales professional trying to present on software then the purpose of your presentation would be for your clients to purchase the software the approach would be that you would use persuasive techniques to address their concerns to address their pain points and also to sell your unique selling point the content would be that you will explain them how this software is going to help them by providing data or by giving them an anecdotes or maybe sometimes testimonials and at times you may even have to compare it with your competitors for an added impact and finally you could make it engaging by using persuasive vocabulary and by using visuals and at times storytelling the third is know your audience consider whom you are addressing is it your co-workers supervisors clients and tailor your message depending on their level of understanding and interest the fourth one is structure your presentation and in here you have five points number one is introduction you have to introduce the topic briefly and mention us the purpose of it and its relevance number two is about the main points identify two to three main points or key messages that you want to convey to your audience but keep it simple number three is all about validating it so you must have the supportive evidence for example data or maybe some sort of testimonials or maybe some sort of information that is going to validate and help you in addressing the two to three points that you mentioned the fourth point is we all know which is summarizing you have to summarize all the main points and reiterate the key message and finally the question and answer round if time allows you be prepared for the questions and always encourage interaction now let's reiterate the four key aspects of presentation skills number 1 is to know the context number 2 is the purpose clarity number 3 is to know your audience and number 4 it is all about structuring your presentation with these in mind today's activity is lined up with an hands on experience that is waiting for you i'm sure we will be enjoying the activity and also learning a lot through it let's meet in the class